Understanding how to be an active trader depends on one thing, following the money. Following the money is where the orders are on level three. But most people care about indicators. They want to know exactly what makes a stock go up due to some mathematician that came up with some Fibonacci, some MACD, RSI, and the list can go on and on and on. But that's something traders focus on because with the problem with indicators, they're always right. But the problem, most importantly, is their laggers. To be a trader, you can't depend on what happened in the past or what some mathematician invented. You need to focus on where the orders in the future. You see, I was a market maker on Wall Street and being a market maker, we trade on stuff that were called iceberg orders and iceberg orders are found on level three. Level three is known as Instanet, ECNs, level two. But you have to know what to look at on those systems because they change rapidly. But if you keep focusing on the past and focusing on what these indicators are telling you, you're always going to be late and that's what we call lagging indicators. Now, when it comes to trading, I don't know if you wanna be a lagger, I think you wanna be a leader. And leaders need to know where the big brokerage firms are. Companies like Institutions, BlackRock, Goldman Sachs, Merrill Lynch, Morgan Stanley, high frequency trades, algorithms, the list goes on and on, dark pools. How do you find them? On level three quotes. You see, when we go out there and trade and where people make big mistakes, is they just don't know where to get in and where to get out. They always wait for an indicator to tell them. And what's the problem with the indicator? It's lagging. And it's what happens when it lags, it prevents you from getting in and out of stocks because this is how people don't get out of positions by dealing with laggers. See, as a trader, the big thing is about not making money. Money takes care of themselves. Winners take care of themselves. The biggest problem that people have they don't know when to take losses. They don't know when to take profits. That's what you have to learn. You have to learn how to lose first before you can make. And you know how you learn from losing? By using what everyone else is teaching you. And then you start to realize, hmm, maybe there is something out there. Maybe there is the future out there. Because when I teach my students and when I first went out there and learned like I teach my students for the very first time, once I was able to see these orders, I was like, my God, no wonder why I was making mistakes. Because when you hit a resistance levels, it has nothing to do with the indicator or where the indicator came from. It was about that big block order, those 20, the 50, the 100,000, the 300,000 share sellers, the million share sellers out there. No indicator is gonna tell you that because mathematicians invented it with due to their knowledge of, of what they think the stock is doing from the past. But things change rapidly. Somebody can come out there immediately and say, you know what? I wanna buy 300,000 shares all of a sudden. And you know what? No indicator is going to tell you that, but level three will. And that's why you need to follow the money. You have to understand one thing. The market changes rapidly. Anything could happen. It could be COVID. It could be 9-11 financial crisis. It could be the internet bubble. The list can go on and on and on. No indicator is going to predict it. I mean, I see analysts all the time on panels with analysts all the time, and they all sit there and look and they analyze one versus the other, book value, P ratios, all these little indicators. But you know what they don't realize is that if somebody was to come out there and said, you know what, I want out of this position. And if they're going to get out, no indicator is going to tell you that. You have to be prepared when it comes to trading the market. This is a war. And when it comes to trading, you have to be prepared and you need to come out safe and you have to come out as a winner. And the way you become a very successful trader is controlling profits. So as a trader, what we do and what we teach at with level three is that when you look at those orders out there and you're looking at the future, you got to have a game plan. Most people don't have a game plan. All they care about is what the lagger is telling them. Charts are great. And you know what? 80% of you are reading them backwards. And the reason why you're reading them backwards is because you're thinking what's going to happen in the past. What happened in the past is not always indicative of the future. What's indicative of the future are if the same orders were in the past have to be there in the future. You ever heard of breakouts? You ever heard of stocks that are breaking all time lows? How does that happen? Is because that order that was in the past is not there now. And that's what's about following order flow and following time and sales. And by doing that, you read that using level three quotes. Traders, you have to understand, have a big perspective on the market's dynamics. 
which indicators may not always capture that market. You have to understand when it comes to trading, you need to see where everyone is at every moment in time. And if it's not now as a day trader, you need to see it as an option trader. You need to see it as a swing trader. But you got to remember, it all starts from day trading because what happens over the course of the day trickles into a swing trade and a long term trade because of these orders that are out there. You see, market is changing constantly. We always have new things. If it's earnings, if it's an election, if it's anything, indicators don't tell you that. And what happens is that they might factor in so many other things. If it's CPI reports, if it's job reports, no indicator is going to tell you that, but level three will. That's why you need to follow the money. Following the money just makes things so much easier. It just makes more sense. And it's just simple. It's not a complicated thing. What's also great about level three is that you can actually place orders out there. You can see your order out there. You can compete against other traders out there. You could join them. You could cut the line. You know what I mean? It trade, it's having not only in level three, but it's also a lot has to do about having the right brokerage firm. And there are a lot of them out there that do offer them. And there's also a lot of them that don't offer it. And that's why you need to learn and understand what makes one brokerage firm different than the other, because without having and seeing your order out there, they're actually trading against you. Why would you want someone out there that takes an order from you and says, okay, I know somebody wants to buy it and I'm going to go out there and buy it cheaper and sell it to them. Wouldn't it be nice to see that order out there? and seeing what everyone else is out there and what they're doing, then waiting for someone to uh, have some platform out there that is kind of selling you all these windows of which 80, 90% of them you don't even need. And then the 90% of the stuff you do need, they don't offer. And the main thing they'll have offering and the most attractive thing that everyone wants to talk about is indicators. But indicators don't work because they're lagging. It's time to stop looking and at being an analyst and it's time to act as a trader and being a trader is following the orders using level three. Trust me, traders, get level three quotes, follow the money, see and watch how these people put these block orders out there and how they do it on every single stock. Just mix it up a little bit because I know when you start looking at level three quotes and you start mixing up what you're doing, you're going to realize that everything that you learned in the past, all it did was make things more complicated. It's time to make things simple. Let's jump on the way, learn how to trade like a market maker, and let's learn how to control those profits, be more disciplined on our trades. Let's get rid of the indicators. Let's get rid of everything else. Let's focus on level three. Just try it out for a day and see when you start focusing on those orders and you start wondering what made that resistance a real resistance and why did that stock break out and how it broke out, you're going to realize you've been trading blind. And you know what? It's okay, but it's time to make a change.